Hello and welcome to Momentum. We have built a tool to free up mental space and increase your focus by decluttering your mind and delivering automated next steps on your active projects. This video contains seven steps to make your onboarding as smooth as possible. Step one, the technology. Momentum is a progressive web app designed to work on all your devices with a browser. The beauty of progressive web apps is their offline capability. If you are a lot on the road with your laptop, for example, it's as simple as activating the app mode and set and you can enter momentum regardless of your internet connection. Changes will be saved in an offline database and sync automatically the next time you're back online. On your mobile devices, you can even add momentum to your home screen and enter it like a native app. On iOS, it's through the share feature in Safari and on Android devices, it's the add to home screen button in Chrome. Step two, embrace the layout. If you're opening Momentum for the first time, be prepared to be confused. Momentum is like nothing else out there. It's built from the ground up and takes some time to adapt. But I promise you it's worth the invest. And once you've understood the idea behind the layout and the workflow, it pays back big time and you won't go back to anything else. First, Momentum is separated into three layers. The first level contains the in-view, the next view, and the away view. That's the now layer, your basic level of your productivity, if you will. The in-view is to capture everything that keeps you from being engaged and focused now. An idea that pops up or something to remember. Capture it here and process it later. It's like the inbox of your email software. The next view contains all the tasks and very next steps you can take now to move forward your projects. It gets fed automatically from the active view on the next level. I uh, will explain how this works in a minute. The away view contains everything that you are waiting for or someone else is doing right now. These three views exercised properly are extremely helpful to stay focused now. The second layer is the organized layer. It contains all your organized stuff. Ideas, active projects, references, and of course, all the stuff you've done already. And the stuff you are not going to do, which is equally important. The option to say no is crucial and so freeing at times, but hard to find in other tools which are whipping you only forward on your stuff you have to do. The active view is where most of the magic happens. First, you can structure and organize your life as you please. Everything is captured with a drop. A drop can be an area of your life and under that drop you can put your projects of this area and into this project you put checklists, tasks or further sub-projects. It's totally up to you and you can nest your drops endlessly. Step 3. Bootstrap your trusted system, your projects, your life, yourself. Now. How to get started in Momentum. If you've never worked with an organizer before, or if you're not familiar with the method of getting things done, the workflow hints will be helpful. You can find these placed strategically throughout the app by clicking on the little emoji we call the in-app nerd. We recommend starting with a brain dump by dropping everything that keeps your mind busy. Open the in-view and drop everything. Ideas, to-dos, links, calls, stuff to prepare, projects, things to remember. Just take 20 to 30 minutes and get rid of everything that occupies your mind. After that, walk around in your room or workspace and capture everything that comes up while doing so. Repeat this process as often as you like until you feel your mind free enough to continue with the next step.
Step 4. Empty in. Equally important as getting stuff out of your expensive mental workspace into momentum is to empty your in-view every day. Just take a drop and ask yourself, is this my responsibility? Can I do something about it? No? Terminate it or delegate it to someone else. Yes? Make it an active project and define the very next step that has to be taken or delegated. Is this something worth keeping and referring to later? No? Delete it. Yes? Archive it. Is this something you'd like to do someday? Maybe a good idea? No? Then say no. Yes? Save it in your idea view. Step 5. Work with next steps and build your productivity pipeline. What makes Momentum special? It takes the very first drop of a project or area or however you use it and puts it in the next view. You can influence this behavior by deciding if a certain set of drop can be done sequentially or parallel. If your drop is sequential, the subdrops will appear in next sequentially. You move the first one to done and the second one will appear. You check this one off and the third one will appear and so forth. That would be the classic step-by-step -step process. The parallel option is useful for stuff that can be done in no particular order. A packing list or a shopping list. Parallel means all subdrops will appear in next. Step 6. Adding context equals adding focus. Adding context to your drops puts the finishing touches to your lists of next steps. Context can be locations like home and work, tools required like your Mac or PC, persons needed like co-workers or family members, certain settings like meetings or even deadlines and milestones that need their own mindset and focus. Combining the endless nesting, the option between sequential and parallel, and adding context allows you to create the most versatile and most accurate image of your tasks, projects, areas, and even your whole life. Step 7. Give yourself time to adapt. Building new and better habits takes time. We are used to keeping stuff in our head instead of externalizing them. We are used to writing down short cryptic words on a list instead of making detailed and precise descriptions of a task. Start easy, check out the few specific tutorials and contact us via the in-app chat for personalized workflow hints. We are glad to have you aboard for this great journey.